what is NAD? Well, the molecular structure is shown here on, on, on the slide. It's a, a small molecule, very, very simple, but it has many, many different functions because NAD is a coenzyme that's in, essential to life and it's found in every single cell of living things. Uh, the enzyme can, uh, is very important, uh, or the coenzyme is very important for uh, the function of over 400 enzymes. You can imagine why this molecule may play a very important function in everything in life. And these uh, enzymes include some of the very important ones that are very important for longevity. These are the sirtuins, the PUBs, and the CD38, and so on. If you look at uh, the whole Maxwell aging that many people talk about, uh, I'm not really a big fan of the whole Max because I, I think it's a good starting point. It does not address all the issues. But if you look at the nine best known whole marks of aging, almost every single one involves NAD uh, because over 400 enzymes are involved uh, with requires uh, require NAD for their function. So you can imagine many of these uh, uh, important biological processes um, do require NAD to function properly. The most important ones are listed on the left. And NAD is involved in DNA damage and repair, in oxidative stress, in inflammation, cellular senescence, nutrient sensing. It's important for uh, supporting immune health to protect the brain function, improve glucose intolerance, insulin sensitivity, and on and on. So you can read this slide probably faster than I can read. The bottom line is NAD plays such an important role in all biological processes. And therefore, it's also very important for anti-aging or to improve our longevity. The second um, main reason why NAD is so important is that NAD is believed to decline with age, although the data are not very uh, abundant in the literature. On the right side, I have shown you some data that are generated in, uh, in Gfinity, where you can see the uh, level of intracellular NAD on the y-axis. And on the x-axis, you see uh, different age groups. Uh, I actually cannot see the right ones uh, hidden by the, by the picture. By the, uh, and so if you look at the very young uh, adolescents from 10 to uh, 20 years of age, uh, the 25th percentile of intracellular NAD level is around 34 micromole. And that goes down to about 26, uh, 27 micromole in the 20 to 30 years old. And when you reach 30 to 35 years, that goes down to about 22 micromole. And when you go to the above the 50s, I cannot see the number on my screen. It's probably around 20 uh, micromole uh, or so, maybe 22. So, this, these data are from hundreds of individuals that will have analyzed. And this is the, I believe, the best evidence showing an age-dependent decline of NAD in the human population. Now, this decline in NAD is also associated with the loss of function and the vitality, and is related to many age-related diseases. Uh, many of these uh, um, issues are mainly related to uh, the sirtuins uh, that require NAD for their activation. So a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the optimum range for, for NAD? I, I get this question a lot, so I want to address it here. So this is a very difficult question to, uh, to, to answer. For the moment, I think the best thing that I can do is to take the distribution 
in a young uh, age uh, population. Here we are taking um, adolescents of 10 to 20 years old. And I'm taking the 25th percentile that we see in teenagers. So what it means is the 25th percentile means that 75% of the individuals have the levels. And here, the 25th percentile is at 34 micromole. So 75% of the teenagers have an NAD level equal or greater than 34 micromole. So I take this value as the lower end of the optimum range. We can debate about this, but I think this is a, a very good starting point. We have not been able to define the upper limit of the optimum range. And my personal belief is you probably don't want to get it over a hundred micromole because over a hundred micromole is not very often seen in any person in a natural way without supplementation or, or NAD management.